Hey guys, James here today and welcome to another house building video. Today we are in Aluna Island as always, pretty much as the next 60 or so house videos will be. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things we got to build here. Uh, yeah, so today we're building on the new lot that came in Aluna Island version 0 0.3. Uh, this is on the island lot. Uh, and this is actually a lighthouse, it turns out to be, believe it or not. It's a lighthouse. It's like, the idea behind it was it's like it's a converted lighthouse. It's a lighthouse that's been converted into a contemporary family home. Uh, so it it's not, I guess the actual house itself isn't that big. It's not small by any means. It's quite a big house. Uh, it's got um, four bedrooms, I think, in the end. And pretty much all of them are double bedrooms, or they could be if you wanted them to be. So there's plenty of space. And of course, you could always expand the house if you so wished. Uh, now, this actually, this build took me a long time to do. As you'll see, it's 45 minutes long. Um, and I, I believe it was about uh, roughly about five hours real time building, which is quite long for, for a build for me. Normally, I'd, I'd take between two and four, four hours at most. Uh, that's usually the kind of regular range I sort of end up landing in. But obviously, this one was a little bit longer. Uh, and there's nothing bad about that. It just uh, it just took more work, uh, sort of figuring out what I wanted to do and how I wanted it to work. Now, I will say right off the bat, uh, and, and, and unless I fix this by the time I upload the video, I have not been able to export the lot from my game. Uh, and I'm not sure, I'm gonna, I have to do a bit of testing. I'm not sure if that's due to the lot itself or if there's something corrupt on the house I've built. Uh, I don't know why, uh, every time I try to export it or even save it to my game library, my game just crashes. It, it's just that simple. And it doesn't do it with any other lot, so like any other house or anything, so I don't know. I'm hoping it's just an object or something that's corrupt in the game. So what I'm doing actually is installing The Sims 3 on one of my other computers, and I'm just going to install it on there without store content, without anything like that, and hopefully that will work, uh, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, anyways. Uh, if if the download isn't up by the time I've, I've posted this video, I will post an update video in the future sometime announcing that you can now download it. Uh, but anyways, I, oh, that, that was just upsetting. I finished five hours of work. I was like, yeah, let's export this lot. <gasps> Game crashed. And I was like, oh, no. Anyways, that wasn't fun. <laughs> That's the story. Just just as a heads up in case it's not there and you're wondering. And that is why I'm just as upset as you are about the whole ordeal. But nevertheless, uh, and also apologies for the lack of videos over the past like about a week or so. I've been I've been quite ill. Uh, I still am a little bit I am I'm a little bit stuffed up, and you may hear me clearing my throat from time to time. Maybe even a cough if you're lucky. Uh, but I'm feeling mostly better now, so that's not an issue. That that's why I haven't been recording the past few days because talking extremely loud and <laughs> exuberantly whilst you have got a very sore throat doesn't go together too well, and it doesn't feel great either. So I decided it was best just to sort of take a couple of days off and uh, and come back to it when I'm feeling a bit better. And uh, in the meantime, I was building this and just having a bit of fun with it. And, and away we go. You'll see, this is why it takes a long time. Uh, because I'm doing a lot of CFE work to get it to blend into the sort of terrain and make it all fit. It actually ends up being a, a much simpler layout in the end. Because you can see at the moment here, I'm actually going with a full on sort of split level design. But I'm like, that's not going to work. That's just a nightmare to actually build anything in. Uh, so I do end up actually making everything flat and, and proper level. So in the end, when I get there, yeah, and it turns out all right. But yeah, in general, I, I think this build is, is really awesome. I really enjoyed it and it's really cool. Uh, and I had, I had a lot of fun just building the actual thing and on the lot. And a little little sneak peek uh, coming up. I in, in, in my downtime while I was not recording videos, I also worked on a Lunar Island itself. And uh, there are a, a lot more lots coming, <laughs> which is I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, because it's a good thing because then there's more variety of where you can build. But it means I have to build more lots in the end. Uh, so basically, when version 0 0.4 comes out, I'm holding off releasing it now because um, First of all, I, I, wa I want to make sure people have properly tested it, and if they find any bugs with 0 0.3, then I can address them in 4. And also because I only just released 0 0.3 the other day. And that, I don't want to rush you guys to updating to a new one. However, having said that, uh, there, were, there was a person kind enough th that was watching... I don't know if you heard that in the background, but my other computer, which I'm installing Sims on, just... Got an email sound. I don't think you would have heard that. Oh, you might have. I don't know. Anyways, I digress. Uh, yeah, so, so a wonderful person was listening to the video and they heard me say that I want to be able to install multiple versions of the world at the same time. And they they 
gave me a link that showed me exactly how to do that. So that means when I do release version 0.4, you will not have to uninstall previous versions. It will install alongside them and it will work just fine. Although you, you still can uninstall the previous ones if you don't want them. Uh, but that's it. That's a good thing because that means you can test it out without having to delete your previous save games and all that kind of stuff, which is really, really handy. So thank you so much uh, to the person that linked that to me incredibly handy and that means all future versions also will be uh, able to install alongside each other without uh, you having to uninstall anything and uh, you can see the design is sort of coming together now I just made the levels proper levels and they're not they're not all split levels and weird and funky shapes it's all just a it's just turning into a normal house at this point um, but yeah I didn't actually mention how many lots new lots are coming in a lunar island uh, this is gonna be I guess Quite a quite a shock, I guess, because unless you, unless you were reading on Twitter, because I did post it a while ago. Uh, but in so in version zero point one, the first one I released, there were fifty nine lots, and that that annoyed me. So I was like, all right, let's add another lot in just so we can get up to sixty. And I did that, and we had sixty lots in version zero point two. Then zero point uh, three, I was like, well, we've got this awesome lighthouse lot, and a lot of people also suggested this. They're like, turn that uh, lot into, uh, turn that island into a lot, then you can build your own lighthouse on it. And I was like, hell yes, let's do that. So then we ended up with 61 lots, and I'm like, now, I know it doesn't really matter, but we have 61. I, I'm not a fan of the number 61. Uh, so I was like, all right, let's just round this up a little bit. Let's go to 65. So I added four more lots. And oh, by the way, this is the other thing. I added two uh, lots that you can do. You can make dive lots in. So there are now lots available to create dive lots if you have Island Paradise. And if you don't have Island Paradise, those lots will still function. And you could use them as a regular island lot if you were to uh, bring the terrain up and turn it into an island. You could do that, uh, which is really cool. So it still works perfectly fine in base game. But if you have Island Paradise, you can now make dive lots as well. So I've added two of those. There's two ocean lots that have been added in, which is, I think, really, really awesome. I can't wait to see what people do with that. I also can't wait to build a, a dive lot. I think it's going to be fun. I haven't done one yet, so that'll be really, really interesting. Um, and then and, 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 and I squeeze in a couple of other lots around the place. And then I was like, yeah, 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 65 is good. But you know what would be even better? If we just rounded it up to 70, you know, just, just bump it up a little bit. So I chucked in another five lots. Uh, yeah, so when 0 0.4 comes out, uh, there are nine new lots, uh, two of which are dive lots. And then the rest are actually around the world. Uh, some of them actually, a couple of them are new, new, completely new beaches. I've added in new areas of beaches. Like I've added in new pathways uh, that go down to the beaches. And I think it's really cool. I think I, I, I really like the terraforming changes anyways. I think it's going to be awesome. Uh, it, it doesn't affect any previous lots. So there's no problems with that. It's just a, br a bunch of brand new lots. I don't think it's going to be really, really awesome. Uh, so I, I'm just excited about it. I had a lot of fun doing it, but I'll probably release that in a week or so. Uh, just make sure that if you find any bugs with 0 0.3, let me know. And also, this is just turning into an Aluna Island uh, video. But I guess it doesn't really matter. You can see what's going on in the background uh, if you want to. Most people just sort of end up listening to these as they do something else, which is cool too. Uh, because I have a lot of things to say, and I like people to listen to them. <laughs> but yeah, on on the note of Aluna Island... Um, I get tons of people always saying the same thing. When they dig down, they get their lots flooded with water. Now, uh, in case you aren't aware, if you build on a lot and dig down uh, lower than the, the level of the ocean, uh, it will fill with water. And that's just the way the game works. Uh, and I guess reality mostly works like that as well. If you were to dig down at the beach below the sea level, it will fill with water eventually, and also the same, anyways. Uh, but that's just how the game works, so you can't dig lower than the ocean level without it filling with water. And if you want to dig down or do slope driveways, you have to do them on lots that are higher up, so like a cliff lot or something would work perfectly if you wanted to do a slope driveway, which you obviously have seen me do in a couple of the lots already in the world. Uh, so that's just a note for those people that are having problems with that. Um, now we're just doing a little courtyard area here, which I thought was a really, uh, really nice idea. Actually, uh, there's a ton of balconies and tons of outdoor spaces. Most of them I've just filled with generic furniture, uh, which is pretty much just seating. Uh, and, and I guess you could add anything in there. One of them I did add a hot tub in, of course, that is necessary. Um, but I've ma mostly left it as sort of generic furnishings on the outside. So you could just add in whatever you wanted and sort of customize it however you wanted. And you could have fun uh, just playing around with it. Uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, and of course, I, I don't know, I had I had someone say, and I, I tested this out and I had no problem. 
they they said they had problems with boats in the world, like in general, like they the sim got in a boat and then they teleported out straight away. I don't know, I didn't have any of that problems. Boats seem to work fine to and from this island. Uh, having said that, if you have only the base game, I don't know how it works. I I I presume the Sims swim through the ocean to get to the lot if you only have the base game. Unless they added water taxis in the base game. I have no idea. I haven't tested this in base game. And that's mainly because I can't get it into my base game because I can't export it uh, from this game. It just won't let me export it. So <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but if you if you know anything about that, let me know. I'm just interested to see what it does in base game or if you can even get to the lot in base game. I presume there's some way to get to it in base game, whether it be via teleportation or uh, swimming through the ocean. I don't know. Uh, just adding uh, other sort of colors. So obviously we've got the lighthouse, uh, white and red, stereotypical colors, nice big red bands going around it, uh, looking pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, and then the rest of the house is a nice, really light white and has like light woods and everything. It is really, it's supposed to have a really contemporary feel. Uh, this one, I guess, isn't as much of that sort of typical islandy feel that the previous lots have been. Like with my previous ones, I've had that sort of thatched roof and really colorful furnishings and all that. Although the last one was more of a contemporary house. Uh, this one definitely is more of a contemporary vibe, more of a kind of regular home vibe with an island twist to it. It's not full island house. It's not full uh, contemporary. It's sort of in between in between island and contemporary. Obviously, it's also a lighthouse. Uh, so whoever lives here has got to operate that. Uh, obviously, they don't. There's nothing up there. You can't even get up to the top because the walls are so high. Uh, I was originally going to go with this dark wood, uh, like black wood uh, around the edges. And I don't know. I, I think I did it because of the, the railings you can see on the right there. I've got those sort of black railings. Um, and I was like, yeah, that's good. Let's match it. And then I was like, no, that looks terrible. And obviously I've, I've inverted the colors now. So you've got these nice light woods uh, around the place, contrasting the white, which I thought looked actually very, very nice, especially when I add in all the other detailings, as you can see, I'm doing now, <clears throat> excuse me, still a bit sick, like I said, uh, and just, yeah, adding more sort of wood, uh, detailings around the lot. And I think it turns out really nice, especially, uh, oh, once we start landing, this, this island seriously becomes super Super lush, so much, so many plants, so many rocks, and all that. Uh, it is. It looks really, really nice. I think. Uh, I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I, I'm really happy with this, and I think it turned out great. Uh, so obviously we're doing all the colours now. All the colours of the rainbow. Uh, obviously not just the couple colours. Uh, actually, that's something I've just. <laughs> so I've just realised that little flower bed I'm putting in now. I don't remember if I actually ever put anything in it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I do. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't remember if I, I, I don't think so. <clears throat> Excuse me. See, talking, talking for the past, like, 12 minutes has really got my, my, uh, my sickness, I don't know, magnified. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Adding in a bunch of rocks. That's what we're doing. Uh, yeah, this is where we start landscaping for quite a while, mainly because I didn't want to furnish at this point. I was like, I cannot be bothered to furnish right now. So let's just do rocks. And then we do lots of trees and all that and get it really sort of lush and vibrant, which uh, uh, is very nice. Uh, I'm just trying to look for the screenshot. Yeah, I didn't put anything in the flower bed. I just saw the screenshot. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing in that little flower bed. But yeah, this is this is really nice. I've done all these rocks, uh, sort of packed them in there. It looks like it's a really sort of uh, rough kind of island, like the, this, the ocean's always battering it. Uh, and it's sort of like eroded into this really jagged kind of shape. But it's also very lush and lots of flowers and palm trees and all that kind of stuff. And I wanted to add in some stairs here so that we could actually get down to the beach. And that's exactly what I did, which you can see I'm trying to do now. Uh, and there we go. So we just create this sort of little beach area here. Uh, and then I, I, I park like, I guess you could do anything there. You could do like a little re recliner chair there. Or you could even do like a beach towel or, or something like that. I, I added just a, a mooring post for a jet ski out the back. Out the front, we do a jetty uh, with like four mooring posts. So I, I think with like three boats on there. So... There is no shortage of space for boats in this place because that's really only form of transport from this house is it via boat. Uh, if you wanted to have a car, it'd have to sit in your inventory. I guess you could put a parking spot on the lot if you wanted, but it's kind of, it would look kind of weird. Uh, anyway, it's just turning this into actual sand because it was all just rock and it didn't really look much like a beach. Um, and just doing some more landscaping. Uh, but yeah, I, I think, I mean, this this... Island, uh, in general, like a lunar island and all the builds are coming along pretty well. And I, uh, something that someone mentioned to me was like, I should do collabs and stuff to make it go faster. But, uh, in response to that, I, I said that, um, 
I really want this island to be 100% my own project in that, like, I do all the sort of work, all the world work. Obviously, I, I mean, like, not in not in the terms of you guys testing it, because you guys have obviously been testing it and providing bugs uh, that have been found and all that. So that's very helpful. Obviously, in that regard, it's not 100% me, because you guys are helping as well. But in, in terms of uh, the, the houses being built and, and the world being sculpted, I want that to be all set up. Like, just... just to prove that I can, <laughs> I can do my whole own world, uh, which is incredible. But of course, I've got l a long way to go. Still, so got a ton of lots to go, uh, and I've also still got to try and get this this lot to export out of my game and figure out what the problem is. I am hoping that it is just something to do with the uh, uh, store content or something. Maybe there's a, a, a item that isn't properly installed in my game or something, and it's just glitching out. I'm hoping it's something like that. And when I try and sort of put it in a different game, it works. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes. He is hoping otherwise this lot will never see the light of day, uh, which would be very unfortunate because it means I'd have to do it again. Mm. And then the same thing could happen. Oh, that'd be the worst if I built it again and the same thing happened. Ugh. Uh, anyways, <laughs> excuse me. So that was like a half laugh, half cough. Uh, <laughs> Just doing the sort of balconies. That used to be a foundation balcony, but I got rid of all the foundation on it and um, made it a little bit more useful. And sorry if you heard that beeping in the background. That is just my air conditioner because it is incredibly hot in my room right now. It, winter cannot come fast enough, honestly. I'm sick of the heat and I'm sick of of just, yeah, well, that, <laughs> I'm sick of the heat. That's what it is. And I'm sure all you guys are on the other side of the world are like, oh, I hate winter. I want it to be summer. But you know, I'm sick. I'm sick of uh, sick of uh, winter. Pfft, sick of winter? No, I'm sick of summer. Good words are working. Uh, that's what happens when I don't record videos for about a week. I don't know what to say, and I can't speak anymore. Uh, figuring out what I wanted to do with the windows here. Actually, I spent a lot of time just playing around. Well, actually, that's something you're going to notice a lot throughout this video that I spent a lot of time. Uh, just that phrase in general. I spent a lot of time on a lot of things in this. Uh, specifically, a lot of the furnishing, a lot of detail items you'll see. I'm just kind of sitting on it for a while, <laughs> just like scrolling through the catalog, trying to find stuff. And it does turn out to be a bit tedious. Uh, it was for me as well, but uh, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, so we just go, I think I even changed the colors of the windows in a minute. Do I make them a bit lighter? I feel like I do, but I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, we, I mean, they're mostly university life windows. There's some supernatural stuff around the place. Um, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I think I use like, some of the Supernatural windows here and there as well. And the doors as well from Supernatural. Some of the best, in my opinion. Uh, around the back, we actually use, yeah, those large French doors, which I think are the Supernatural ones. Uh, I love those doors. Really nice. And I think, yeah, I changed all the windows to white, uh, which looks better. Because originally I had matched them to all the wood trimmings, but in the end, I don't think it worked too well, considering we had we had so much wood already on the house, like all on the wallpaper, that adding it on the windows as well is really just unnecessary. Uh, so I sort of, I, I canned that idea and uh, and, and went with it. Uh, the lower level, the, there's three levels of this. This upper level, I, I, I'm not entirely pleased with how this upper level turned out. I wanted the whole, the idea was this level was supposed to be the master bedroom. Uh, the master suite, as it were. But I couldn't get the stairs to place in the right spot. It was like, oh, it doesn't want to place here. And I just could not get them to place where I wanted. And it was upsetting. Uh, in the end, it turns out to be a smaller bedroom than I wanted. And one of the bedrooms on the lower floor actually is bigger. I guess it's really up to you which you want to be the master bedroom. The one on the lower floor is a bigger bedroom and it has a bigger ensuite. So I guess technically that should be the master bedroom. But I just thought being up on the top of the house, you'd have the best views and the best windows. And that was the idea of it, to be to be up there and get all this light and have it would be really awesome. But of course it didn't work out like I wanted. Um, I was just playing around with different roof designs just then to sort of, I don't know, see what it looked like. But I just left it flat in the end because I thought it looked fine. Excuse me, I'm really, I'm really stuffing up the moment as I'm talking, which is fantastic. Uh, just doing some uh, balcony uh, landscaping. It's not really landscaping. Balco balcony decorating, I guess. Uh, I actually put, yeah, I put like proper plants on there. I was trying to find like a pot that fit around that nicely. There wasn't really a good one that fit very well. Uh, but I think, I, yeah, did I see someone? Oh, sorry, I got I got the sniffles now. I might <laughs> I might have to stop this uh, this recording and continue it in a bit as I as I when I feel a little bit better because I have been talking for a solid like almost twenty minutes, uh, which I guess I haven't done in a few days because I've been quiet. 
Uh, anyways, getting the stairs in. See, that that's where I actually cut out about- I don't know how long I spent trying to do this. I, like, I cut out all of the stairs part there. <laughs> you didn't see it. I spent, I, in real time, possibly about 20 minutes just trying to get the stairs in uh, where I wanted it. In the end, it didn't work, and I was really, really peed off. Uh, and also, in the end, the stairs themselves glitched out. I had them- I did the stack stairs again. But in this house, they didn't want to work. Sometimes the stack stairs work fine. Other times, they just don't want to work. In this house, they didn't want to work. Uh, when I placed it, I said it, the sim just didn't want to walk up them. Uh, so I had to move the stairs in the end, uh, one over, and then they worked fine. So, Ugh. The stairs in this house, honestly, they were just a nightmare. And they didn't work very well. Uh, doing this sort of just wood, that wood actually completely changes. It changes to a different texture. I, I do really love... I'm, I'm really getting into that color scheme lately, the uh, sort of orangey yellow wood uh, with the sort of gray uh, wallpapers. I think it just looks really, really nice. Um, but I don't want to overuse it. I've already used I think I used it in the previous house as well. I, I don't want to overuse it. In the next house, I'm going to use a different color scheme. In like, Because generally what I do with my houses is I have the, the sort of the general color scheme that goes throughout the whole house. And then with the bedrooms, I usually change the wallpapers and sometimes the floors and that. But then like the common areas will all be the same sort of color scheme and all that. Uh, that's normally what I do, and I've been using the same sort of general color scheme <laughs> for the past few houses, and I, I guess I, I probably should step away from that uh, for a little while, otherwise it would just become overused and, and just a little bit unrealistic in terms of a whole world having the same interior design, uh, which I guess wouldn't really make much sense. And obviously we just had a little cut in the video there, and I've come back at a later date. Uh, still doing a bit of building, actually. It took me- it, it, like, this actually was a very long build. Uh, Oh, excuse me. Uh, we're like 21 minutes in. I'm actually still- well, I'm, I'm spinning around doing god knows what right now. But I'm still in sort of the build mindset. I haven't even got into furnishing it. Normally, a build in a speed build takes about 10 minutes or 10-15 minutes tops. And the rest is furnishing. But this one is much more half-half. Like it's half building, half furnishing. Just, I don't know. It just took me a long- a lot more time to build this one, and, um, but I mean, not to say I didn't have fun doing it, because I did, it was a lot of fun to build this one, especially on this sort of really interesting island, and, and the whole lighthouse aspect as well was really fun to sort of play around with. Uh, but yeah, we'll- I guess we'll eventually get into furnishing, I don't, God knows when that's gonna happen, because we seem to be on build mode still, I think it should be very shortly. We start off with the kitchen diner area, uh, and one thing I was actually really upset with this house is, uh, I didn't have a proper living room, um, or at least at the beginning. I had to I had to mess around with the floor plan. In the end, we do have a very nice living space. Uh, but you'll see, uh, you, you this whole area, this big room area now. This is the kitchen dining area, and then if you look just to the right, uh, you'll see that double archway, and that room is basically like a big hallway. And that was the only, like, you can see it there briefly. That was the only room that I had as a living space. And the problem with it is there's doors on three of the walls. Uh, that's a very, very unusable room, so I completely sort of, uh, overhauled the look of it and fixed it up a bit. Which we'll see when we get there. Uh, using the Into the Future counters for the kitchen, we got this very nice large island counter in the middle. Uh, I was gonna do cabinets over the top of it, but I thought that just really... It just got in the way. Like, I, I feel like if you were playing in this house, it would just get in the way. It was just annoying. So, I, I moved it back over the regular counters. I didn't put any counters over the center. Here's one of the times where I'm scrolling infinitely through the uh, the menus of the catalog, and you'll see that happen a lot. Uh, I love those Into the Future cabinets because they have one of the ones that actually sits perfectly above the fridges, which means you can build the fridges right into the cabinets, which is awesome. Uh, I guess you could normally just sort of uh, cut them into each other and get them to work that way, but um, eh, you know, whatever. Ah, one of the- one of the many times I was scrolling through the catalogue as well. I guess it won't be as long as it was in reality. <laughs> in reality, I was sitting there forever just looking for items. And as well, because I don't- I presume this happens to a lot of people as well, like the catalogue, or, or like rotating, you get that rotation lag. I, I can't remember when that started, but it happened in one of the updates or expansion packs. Uh, it, it started doing like a- like a buy slash build mode rotation lag, and it's so incredibly annoying. Uh, like, it's basically, if you don't know what it is, you, you'll you probably know what it is if I describe it and you've played any amount of The Sims, uh, is that when you're in build mode or buy mode and you want to try and move the camera, it will just like, it'll take like 20 minutes, you press a button, and then like 20 seconds later, 30 seconds later, it'll decide to move. Or, or the same with rotation, if you try to rotate it, it'll take like 20, 30 seconds, and then it'll do it. Ah, uh, uh, basically, it's a pretty easy fix, you just switch to build mode or to buy mode, which one you want in, and then you switch back again and it fixes it. But it's just so annoying. 
Uh, anyways, <laughs> that's what kept happening as well, and it's just like, ah, uh, so annoying. If you ever see me, like, in these builds, just switching back and forth between buy and build really quickly, that's what it is. Uh, I'm just watching it now to see if we switch. If you just watch the little buy mode icon, and the build mode icon in the bottom left, uh, if you see that switch really quickly, that's what it is. Uh, let's see, I'm watching, I'm watching. I just want to see, it. it's not going to happen though, is it? It's got to happen soon. Uh, come on. Come and do the switch. Oh, lots of scrolling for items there. <laughs> trying to find some items. Uh, I don't know. I was just trying to find lots of decorative items. Something. Some. I was trying to find things that I haven't really used or haven't really explored in the game, if that makes any sense. Because uh, obviously, like I've said, before I did the whole sort of uh, I really want to furnish well uh, mentality on the houses. Before that, I used to just chuck items in. I'm like, yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do me. Uh and I was just like, yeah. And I always, I always ended up using the exact same items in every house, which I guess <laughs> was mainly, mainly the, the the factor that I didn't want to furnish. And I mean, I still don't, but I, 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 you can obviously see I spent a lot more time doing it now than I did before. And I guess it does show in the end, which is very nice to see. Uh, but yeah, oh, this little section there, that that little sort of all that shelving area there, just spending it twenty. Oh yeah, you, I just switched really quickly to build mode and back. Uh, just because I've got the lag. Um, anyways, yeah, you can see me. I'm just sitting here. Like, imagine just if this was a real time. Uh, if this was a let's build of the house. First of all, it was a five hour one. But the thing is, as soon as uh, the the thing with let's builds. Also, the the reason I'm not gonna do another let's build, at least not until the Sims Four. I'll probably do one of the Sims Four just because it'd be fun and it'll be cool to learn it. I think doing excuse me, a, a Sims Four like let's build live stream would be super fun, like, when the game first comes out, uh, doing a live stream of build mode, when it first comes out, uh, learning it alongside with all of you when it first comes out, I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, anyways, <laughs> that, that, that's a story for another day. But what I was getting at is uh, the reason I'm not going to do it on the Let's Build into The Sims 4 is the fact that it takes forever. Uh, because you, you're doing commentary while you're building, it actually really, really does slow you down. Uh, I, I, I've spoken to the other guys that have done this before, like, um, I, like Krill's done it and, uh, I think, well, Dutch, Dutch Sims Master as well. I haven't spoken to all of them, but I, I've spoken to a few people and they, they've mentioned that, uh, when they do like a let's build, it just takes way longer. I mean, take for example, my, my, uh, second let's build that I did, uh, disregarding the fact that I think it actually took a year, uh, mainly because I left it for so long, uh, disregarding that fact. If you watch it from start to finish, it took 11 hours, I think. I think it was somewhere around 11 hours. I still haven't done the commentary for the speed build on that. I probably should get around to that. Um, maybe next year. Uh, it took 11 hours, and that's a very long build. This house took five hours, and it's probably around the same sort of amount of detail in terms of the, the final size and the work that went into it. But because I was just sitting there listening to music and podcasts and that kind of stuff, I can just I can just think. It's much easier to think and, and do things if you're not commentating them live. I mean, obviously it's different with a let's play. I mean, it's still it's definitely something you notice in let's plays as well. Uh, this happens to pretty much every let's player. If you're playing the game and you're commentating it, you're bound to miss things. You always get that one. Oh no, <laughs> sorry. You always get everybody in the comments saying, "Oh, you missed this. Oh, you're supposed to do this." It's that same thing with let's plays happens in let's builds in the fact that it takes a lot longer. And it's not the same as if you were just playing it by yourself or if you're building it by yourself because it's just it's just longer. It's just something that happens when you, you start sort of blabbering on about nothing. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyways, the moral of that, I don't even know why I got on that topic, but I just did. Um, I don't know. But that's why I'm not doing a Let's Build until The Sims 4 because it takes forever. Uh, oh, yeah, I was saying how doing a Let's Build, something about this house, if I did this as a Let's Build, I don't know. How did what was they talking about? I don't know. I just talk myself into and myself into random topics, and I don't even know how I get there. Uh, I don't know. Uh, at this point of the video, let's actually talk about the house. <clears throat> at this point in the video uh, and and the house, I realized that I have this large sitting area in the middle of the house. You can see it there. It is a completely dark room. There are no windows into it. Uh, it's in the middle of the house, in the middle of the basement. There's no windows, and it's supposed to be a living room. I'm sorry. But that is the most depressing living room in history. Unless it was a, a cinema room, which it isn't, like a home cinema room, then it would be fine. But it's not supposed to be a home cinema room. It's supposed to be a daily, every day sort of, uh, sitting area, living room to watch TV and do that kind of stuff. And it had no windows. And I was just like, you know what? 
that's not going to cut it. Let's sort of flatten down the side there and get at least get some windows in. And we did that in the end. There's a couple of windows there. Obviously, it's not uh, that many windows, but it provides at least some natural light into the room, which is, I think, much, much needed. Uh, I think this is also where I edit the upstairs to actually get a usable living space, because at this point in time, I still don't have an upstairs living room. Uh, and I think that's what we're doing now. Excuse me, getting getting all stuffed up right now. Um, yeah, so we're just actually pulling that roof a little further out uh, so we can ex expand the wall underneath. Also expand the little balcony there. And I'm um, just extending that wall. Uh, and obviously I removed that inner wall uh, from where the stairs are. So now it's a large sort of L-shaped room. A little bit of extra space as well by uh, shifting the roof and the wall out. And all is well. All is right with the world now. We have plenty of space. Also, I edit this little... Uh, doorway here a bit. No idea what I'm searching for right now. Apparently that. Uh, yeah, I just moved the wall back a bit so it gives even more space in the living room. Because like I said, at the start I really had absolutely zero space for a proper living room in this house. And that would have, <laughs> that would have been a massive oversight. So I had to fix that as soon as I could. Uh, just getting a nice little decorative painting there. So at, at this point in time, we've obviously finished the kitchen, dining, and the study area. I think we did as I was blabbering on. And, uh, and the back deck area. And now we are going to, well, shortly we'll move on to, actually, I think we, what are we doing now? We, we, I think at some point I just jumped back into landscaping because I didn't want to do any more furnishing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see, well, I guess we'll see in a minute uh, if I go into the living room or I do landscaping. Nobody knows. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm changing the downstairs layout uh, because also you'll notice the same problem here. Like we have. Well, it's just a weird, it's a weird configuration. Like it was, it was a one wide doorway to get into the living area. At the moment it's all diagonal and it's all really weird. I, I don't think I changed it now, but I do go back and I change it again uh, to make it more usable. Because right now the, the, the layout is terrible. I guess this is where we go out to the backyard and start doing some more landscaping. Or well, I guess front, oh, there is no real back or front of this house. It's just, it's all one side. Uh, we get a little the sort of jetty thing there. Nothing too special. Just a bit of uh, foundation coming out over the water. And we get a few mooring posts to dock your boats on. Uh, so if you have Island Paradise, obviously they'll be there. If you don't have Island Paradise, they won't be there. Um, well, I guess they won't be there for anyone right now because I haven't been able to export it from my game. Uh, and hopefully I can, otherwise that's really, really shameful. Shameful? No, that's really a big shame. Uh, anyways, uh, doing, yeah, this is where we do the landscaping in this little, uh, yard area here. I, I just sort of flattened off that whole area, uh, to be able to get a few things in there. This actually turns into, it's actually a very, uh, child-friendly home. Like, there's a, I guess a few, well, there's, there's definitely a kid's bedroom. I think it has a bunk bed in it, so I guess you'd have two kids in there. I, it's more of a feminine room as well, so I guess a few, uh, a couple of girls in there or something. I guess you could, it's not, it's one of those things that isn't hard to change, but um, I guess it's more designed to be a girl's room than a boy's room. Uh, and doing a lot of rocks, a lot of rocks on this island, of course, uh, because it just makes it look better. Or at least I think it does. I really love the look of rocks when you sort of chuck them all together like that. I think it looks so cool. Uh, and just doing some flowers there. You can see that little flower bed uh, out the front that we did, that, that little fence that I was talking about about 20 minutes ago. Well, I don't know when I talked about it, but uh, there it is. And it never gets any plants in it. And I was just admiring the lot as a whole and the landscaping. I really do love the landscaping. That's not just with all the plants, all the vegetation, all that kind of stuff. I was trying to find a nice little statue to put here uh, when you first come to the lot. And I end up putting uh, that sort of contemporary uh, stone sign. Uh, you'll see me pull it out in a minute. Not that one. Uh, where is it? Come on. Come on. Find it. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, James. Yeah. There it is. That one. Uh the idea was, because this is a lighthouse, I feel like at some point it would have had a sign there saying, yeah, this is a lighthouse. And that's kind of what it is. It, that was the idea behind it anyways, because it is a lighthouse. It's supposed to be a functioning lighthouse as well as a family home. And that, that's, I just put a sign in there saying, yeah, this is a lighthouse. Uh, anyways, moving on to the living area now. The fine, the, finally, we're doing some more furnishing because I was just like, nah, don't want to do it. And so I started landscaping and doing everything else that I could. Uh, lots of sort of uh, floor lamps and lots of lighting around the place. I've got a couple of layered rugs there with a different pattern, which I thought was really cool. I wonder if it's that TV messing up my game. I don't know. That's a store item that I recently got. <laughs> uh, although I did use a lot of store, like, plants and everything. Uh, I don't know. It could be any number of things that's messing it up. But that's why I'm installing it on my other computer. And hopefully I can sort it out. Uh, here's hoping. Otherwise, ugh, it's going to be horrible. <sighs> Right, we got. A, I've got another 10 minutes I've got to talk about crap for. 
Right, so what's in the news today? Uh, how about the fact that uh, they've confirmed that uh, at E3 2014, uh, and that's in June, in case I think it's like around, it's early early to mid-June. I'm not sure the exact dates. But anyways, they confirmed at E3 2014, there will be some new Sims 4 information. Finally, I'm hoping for, first of all, a ton more screenshots and a lot more detail. I really want to know, okay, these are the things I want to know about. Obviously, build mode. I want to know more about it because when we saw build mode back in August uh, of last year, did you know that's like it's like six months ago now? Uh, actually, it's a bit more than that. It was like seven months now, August. It does not feel like it's been that long. Um, honestly, well, how many months ago is that? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. It's been eight months. Eight months since we got the last bit of Sims 4 information. And the only bit of Sims 4 information, that was eight months ago, and we haven't heard a word since. Uh, do you know what that means? First of all, that means there is going to be some massive changes. There's going to be some massive new features that we don't know anything about. I am, like, I mean, a lot of people are saying they're getting, they're not excited anymore. And I can totally understand that. I mean, it's not the fact that I'm not excited. I'm not hyped. I think that's what people are getting confused, uh, sort of mixing up in terms of the, uh, the things about The Sims 4. I believe what they mean to say is they're not hyped for it anymore. I think they're still excited for it because it's Sims 4. You're going to be excited. You're just not hyped about it. You're not like, oh, my God, I can't wait anymore. Oh, I'm going to pull my hair out. It's it's not that anymore. It's just like, oh, yeah, Sims 4. That's going to be cool when it comes out or when they tell us more. Uh, but, yeah, that was eight months ago. And a lot can happen in eight months. Uh, and we gave them, like, and by we, I mean the, the, the few of us that attended uh, Gamescom to check it out. We gave them a lot of sort of feedback and, and obviously everyone else in the community did as well. I mean, there was a massive sort of uh, discussion about creator style from the community. Like everyone was like, oh, you should add this a uh, wise in, in there. And there was a massive discussion about the hair, the hair and creator sim. Uh, I suspect they will most likely have addressed that. I, I, I'm speaking, this is complete speculation, by the way. I don't know anything. Um, I, some people seem to think that like those of us that went to Gamescom know more than you guys. We really don't. The last, the last information we personally heard was from August. <laughs> it was when we were there, and and we've already told you all that, so we don't know anymore. Which is a shame. I wish I did. Unless they've cut me out of the loop, then I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the other guys know more than me. Oh my god, it's conspiracy. They know more than me. Oh, I, I bet Curtis knows all. Everyone go bug Curtis. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? My game's just stopped. I'm not doing anything right now. Um, I don't appear to be doing anything. Uh, which is interesting. Okay. Nothing is happening. Uh, I don't know how long that goes for. Maybe I should have checked the video <laughs> before I started commentating. What? what do, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what I could have been doing. Is it just the videos messed up on my end? I don't know. You know what? I'm just going to keep talking. Hopefully it keeps going. Uh, eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Unless the video, like the actual recording itself messed up. I don't know. Uh, anyways, yeah. So in terms of Sims 4, we, we've got the confirmed uh, that we're going to get new information at E3. And I don't, I wouldn't count on getting any information before E3 uh, because considering it is such a big convention and it's such, it's highly publicized. So they'll probably, at the press conference, there, they'll probably do a whole sort of segment on it and release a whole ton of new information. Uh, which will be really, really exciting. Um, and we just don't know what to expect. I, I know a while, a number of months ago now, I think this might have even been January or even last year. Uh, oh, there we go. We're moving again. Uh, Aaron Houts, uh, Sim Guru Houts on Twitter. Uh, he is the he's one of the build designers on the Sim 4. He tweeted um, that they were working on a completely new massive feature for build mode. Something that hasn't been done in the Sims 4. It was a new feature. It's what, like something completely new and we have no idea what it is. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what they've done. And especially because like I was saying before, I mean, I completely went off tangent from that, but the Sims 4, when we saw it, the build mode was, it was in its infancy. It really was because, uh, at that point in time, they didn't have constrained floor elevation. They didn't have, you couldn't do like split levels. Uh, you couldn't even remove one square of foundation. You either had to have all foundation or none, but obviously, well, I say obviously, but hopefully they've, uh, they've addressed it. I would assume so. I would assume so because it was very early days. It was pre alpha at that time. It wasn't even alpha. Uh, which means it wasn't even at the point where they're like, hey, this game is coming along nicely. The engine's done. All the all the main stuff is done. Now let's just add a few more features. It wasn't even at that point. It was before that. Uh, and it was, it was very early. And I, I, that's something that I 
actually don't think a lot of people understood at the time was that it was super early and nothing was there to stay. And what I think they've done, and this is my thoughts on it. I mean, it could be it would be any slew of reasons, but uh, I think they've they've gone back and they've like, well, this is the feedback we've got. This is what people think of what we've done so far. Let's see what we can do to address all of their concerns or their thoughts on it, and 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 see if we can make a better game. I I really well, I, I'm being very optimistic. <laughs> I really hope that's what they do. I think that's what they would have done though. They've had eight months in silence of just working on it. Um, so there's been no distraction of sort of uh, meeting deadlines of uh, of publicizing new features or anything like that. It's just been, they've just been working away. Uh, and I really hope that we see some amazing things. And I, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Um, but anyways, that, that happened to waste a few minutes, which is good. Uh, we're down, down on the lower level now. I'm placing in a few items here and there. Uh, but yeah, uh, so... Like I said, E3, we'll see some more Sims 4 information. And uh, yeah, that'll be interesting to see. Um, I don't know. Like I, I was just thinking about what I would... I don't even know what I expect to see. Because what we did see of Sims 4 already, I didn't expect to see that. Uh, one thing I really did love, and I still love to this, and I can't wait to do it. it first of all, it was really quick, really smooth. And like the, the, the idea that you can pick up an entire room... And you can move the room, you can rotate the room, you can move it up a level. That's incredible. So you could pick up a whole sort of living room or a whole kitchen and just place it somewhere else. I think that's awesome. And one of the things I suggested, and I think I've mentioned this before, I suggested that because what they have like a magazine view, which is basically like blueprint mode, but on crack. It's like way better than blueprint mode. Uh, anyways, I suggested that you should be able, first of all, you should be able to eye drop rooms. So like if you had a bathroom or something, you could just, I drop it, clone the entire room and place it somewhere else as well. And then I also suggest that you should be able to like save rooms, save rooms to the, like the, the quote blueprint mode. It's not called blueprint mode. It's like magazine view. You should be able to save your own rooms to that. Uh, so you can place them in other houses later. So you could build like your favorite room and you're like, Oh, I love this room. Let's put it down and you can use it later. So you can get started way quicker with the, the sort of styles you like. And then I also suggested on top of that, that you should be able to share the rooms you make. So you could, someone could just spend like five hours designing the most amazing kitchen. And then they could just share the kitchen. Not an entire house, just the kitchen. And then people could download it. They could chuck it into the, into the house, upgrade their kitchen really, really quick. I think that would be incredible. And I really hope that is something they've done. Uh, I suggested it and I hope they've done it. Uh, I mean, they might've been already been like, I, I presume they would have been on that pathway anyways, considering it makes sense. At least that, that was the first thing I thought of when they showed off the ability to move and rotate and and do everything with rooms. I was like, yeah, you could share those easily. You could save them. Uh, but yes, I, I don't know. I'm I'm really excited to see what happens to it and, and where it goes. I think it's going to be awesome. Really, really awesome. We're getting to the end of the build now, by the way. Uh, eventually. So if you are not watching the video, I suggest you come back very shortly because we'll be jumping into the screenshots and you can check those out. Because uh, unfortunately, this won't be on my website by the time this video goes live. And that means you won't be able to view the screenshots on the website because it won't be there, which sucks. Uh, unless I can fix it. In which case, it doesn't suck. And also, unless it's in the future, I know I have fixed it, then it doesn't suck. And you can go see it there. But if you're watching this, Skins uploaded and there's no link to the download. That is why. And we're going to jump into the screenshots right now. I don't know. I was saying that prematurely. I thought we were. Uh, let me zoom in on the timeline. Okay. Right about now there's the screenshot. Okay. Here's the first one. I love the back of this house uh, or this lighthouse. I, I love the lighthouse itself. I think it's really cool. Uh, you can see that sort of decking or the, the, well, there's a decking area. The other area was the sort of courtyard area. Uh, he's around the front. I guess where's that big modern sign. Uh, another shot of the front. I don't know. I really, I just really like the look of this lot. Uh, I think it works really well. And uh, it's certainly a nice addition to a Lunar Island. Now we have our own custom lighthouse instead of just using the default lighthouse that comes with the world. Uh, that we are looking up. We have a few sort of ceiling tile glitches you'll see around the place. That was one of them where it was just a hole. But that's just uh, the game being the game. And it doesn't affect anything when you're actually playing. There's the outdoor dining looking out over the ocean. Oh, so nice. Uh, yeah, like I said, and that's another ceiling glitch, by the way. That's not actually there, just in the screenshots. That's the main entrance. You actually enter on the lower level, which I guess is a little underwhelming that you got to enter on such a like on the lower level, but it works fine. There's a little foosball table in that area. Uh, that's the this is the lower bedroom. I guess this is the one I was saying that could be the master bedroom because I think it is the biggest bedroom. Got the built-in wardrobes as usual. 
There's the, the bathroom. This is another one of the double bedrooms on the lower level. A uh, nice sort of blue and salmon kind of color scheme, which I thought that worked really nice, actually. A nice little contrast. This is the kids' bedroom I was talking about before. Lots of little toys and a toy chest. Little rocking horse in the middle of the room. Beautiful views over to a lunar island as well. Uh, this is the upper level, the main, I guess the main level. Uh, lots of little detail objects there. That's the main sitting slash TV area. And a nice pool table that is 100% usable. I tested that. That works fine. Here's the kitchen dining area. Nice large kitchen table. And there's a uh, sort of island counters uh, that you can sit out and have breakfast. And double stoves for ultimate cooking power. Uh, this is the study area. A nice large desk sort of all morphed into one. Uh, you've got a nice bookcase there on the right. So you can sit in there and read. No worries at all. Another view of the kitchen dining area. This is the upper bedroom, which I initially wanted to be the master bedroom. But as you can see, it is very small and not very impressive. Uh, that's the balcony area out by the master bedroom or the air quote master bedroom. Another reason I wanted it to be the master bedroom is that they had their own private area in the lighthouse. This is like the, this is you can only get to this lighthouse if you go upstairs and next to the sort of master bedroom. Here are the floor plan shots. But thank you so much for watching this build. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.